Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher. Welcome to Sweetwater Soundcheck. This time out, a unique processing plugin from Eventide. Let's get started. Today we're checking out Fission, a very interesting processing plugin from Eventide that allows us to separate audio signals into two different structural components. Now these components are the transient, or the attack section of the signal, and the tonal, or sustain section of the signal. We can process those two components completely independently, so we could have, for example, delay on the attack, while we have EQ or compression on the tonal section. This is very different from multiband processing, where we're using a crossover to separate the signal into different frequency bands. In this case, we're talking about time domain separations versus frequency separations, and the results are very interesting and very flexible as far as creating new tones or optimizing the signals in your DAW. Let's take a look at how Fission works. I have a session I've created here in Pro Tools, and I've instantiated Fission on a number of different tracks so we can check out the effects of the plugin on different source types. To begin, let's scroll over and check this out on piano. We'll go ahead and solo that track. And I'm going to bypass the plugin. Now we'll listen to the same passage with the plug-in active. You can hear that Fission is capable of very dramatic effects. We can really take a signal and turn it into something brand new. It's a great sound design tool. But it's also capable of more subtle processing. We could equalize, for example, just the sustain portion of a signal, or add a bit of ambience just to the transients. Let's take a tour of the plugin and see how it operates. Within our plugin window, we have four sections. At the top, we have the master section. This is where we load presets, we have instrument types, we have effects, we have mixing, and artist presets. And this is also where you'd find your user presets when you create those and save them. We create and load presets here. We can compare a modified preset to the standard preset. This opens up our manual, and source lock locks the type of signal we're processing so you can optimize the structural split. We'll talk more about that in just a second. Finally, on the right-hand part of this section of the plugin, we have our overall mix and our overall gain control for the plugin. The most important part of the plugin is this structural split section here right in the center. This is where we actually split the signal in two into the transient section and the tonal section, and we have controls that affect the transition between those two sections. At the bottom, we choose our source type. Kick, snare, tom, cymbal, drum set, hand drum, percussion, bass, guitar, and so on. Because we're on a piano track, I've selected piano. Now we can also use the slider to move among those. For the most natural results, you'll want to use the source type that matches the signal that you're processing, but it's also a lot of fun to try different source types as you're doing your processing. Let's put this back to piano. There are three other important controls here. Focus determines the amount of energy that's being sent to each of the structural components. So as we move up, we're sending more energy to the transient effects side, and as we move down, more energy to the tonal side. And you can think of this as sort of a blend control or a mix control between the two structural components. The final two controls, smoothing and transient decay, determine how quickly we're transitioning between transient effects and tonal effects. Smoothing determines how fast we're moving back and forth, so if we have a signal that alternates between transients and sustain portions, this will determine both directions as far as the time it takes to move back and forth. The end result is you get a smoother transition and a little bit softer transients as you increase the smoothing control. Transient decay determines how long it takes to move from the transient effect portion of the signal to the tonal effect portion. With this set to higher values, we can create bowed effect out of percussion signals. And that's basically what we've done here with our piano. At the top, we have our transient effects processing section. Now these effects are only going to be applied to the transient. We can solo that. Turn the effect on. and check out the different effects types. We also have an overall level control for the transient effects section of our signal. 
Moving to the bottom of the window, we can do the same thing with the tonal effects section. So we'll go ahead and solo that. Turn on our effects. We have a pitch shifter with three voices. Chorus. Reverb. Tremolo. And EQ. With all those effects types and being able to apply them independently to the transient and the tonal section, we can really create some interesting effects. Let's check out some other source types. So I'll close this, unsolo this. We'll begin with a kick drum. I'll solo the kick track, open up the plugin. I have a preset called Kick Boomer applied. We can bypass that. And we can solo the two sections. So here's our transient. And here's our tonal. This is a great example of using Fission to optimize a signal. We're adding sustain to the kick drum, we're adding a nice boom to the bottom end there and increasing the fullness of the sound by processing the two portions of the signal separately. We can also apply the plug-in to snare drum. In this case, we're not using any effects, we're just using the structural split to process our signal. We're bringing down the body of the signal and making the snare drum nice and tight. Now we'll check out some bass guitar processing. I'm so impressed with Fission. It's a unique approach to processing signal that offers a lot of flexibility and a lot of versatility. Whether you're using it for sound design to create completely new signals, whether you're shaping a signal you've already recorded, or you're optimizing a signal to fit into your mix better, Fission offers a lot of capabilities. I think you're really going to like this plugin. Be sure to check it out. Thank you for joining me for Sweetwater Soundcheck. I'm Mitch Gallagher. Music